this is Stamping, welcome to a Terraria video and another video on my wonderful world and pirates are approaching from the west. I'm sorry to throw you straight into the action, well I'm not saying sorry, it's probably quite a good thing, but yeah, uh, basically um, I was playing Terraria and I was mining, I was getting Andamum and Might and stuff and uh, I was wandering around and just being peaceful and generally not upsetting anyone and then it suddenly popped up on my screen as you may have just seen, uh, yeah, pirates are approaching from the west and I guess I need to deal with that now. So first thing, I'm going to empty out my pockets for a bit just in case the pirates are going to drop things that are going to be valuable. I want to make sure I have a uh, room for them and uh, then I need to prepare and try and take out all of the the pirates which are attacking me from the west. Did I mention? And there they are, the pirates have attacked from the west and they are now out my hotel. Right, let's get potions, let's get potions. Um, I need, uh, what we got? We got an uh, iron skin potion, that will do because the pirates are already here and they're probably going to be really tough. I'm going to throw dirt on the floor because I don't care. Right, let's go take out some pirates then. Um, oh, here they are, they're inside, they're inside. Oh no, no, don't go after her, don't go after her, don't go after fantasy. Right, shut the doors, shut the doors. No pirates are allowed inside. Yes, I know I was killed by a wyvern. I'm not trying to read my gravestone. <laughs> oh, I might have some more gravestones in a minute. Right, pirate. Oh, look, this one's got like a gun. This is, oh, this is the captain. This is the captain. Right, the captain's strong. The captain's very strong. We're not strong enough to go after the captain. Let's try and get up here if we can. I'm getting really hurt. Oh, no, there's a pirate. There's a pirate after me. This is, okay, this is tough. These, these pirates seem to be pretty powerful. Let's try and go high. I generally think of um, pirates going near the sea, and I don't generally think of sky pirates, but... Oh. Right, parrots are tough. Parrots are definitely really tough, and I think this battle is going to be really tough. I don't know why they're attacking me. I don't know if I did something. I don't know if I, I don't know if I went too close to the water and I set something off, but pirates seem to be going after me. And oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Look, look at them all. Look how many there are. We've got pirate uh, deck hands and all sorts. Oh, they just left. They just walked away. Okay. Um, are they are they leaving? Nope. They ju they just worked out that they need to go down here to get to me. Right. These ones I seem to be uh, able to do okay at. My guess is that I maybe need to try and take out. <laughs> I need to take out the captain. Do you reckon? And then maybe all of the the others are gonna are gonna stop going after me. Possibly. Right. I need to find a, a good place to fight them. I think fighting them uh, in the house is a bad idea because I do not want them uh, going after all of my all of my guests. So let's go and get uh, a bunch of uh, iron skin potions, shall we? We're gonna need them. They help me out. And anything else? Do we have any fawns potions or anything? Anything else that is gonna help me out? Um, no, not really. Uh, so just uh, iron skin it is. Uh, this should do okay. My my health's still pretty low. Let's go and uh, have a, a healing potion. Right, I'm okay now. Let's just go outside and just run. Right, let's just run, 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 run. There we go. I was able to, to take out a bunch of them. And let's just try and get far away uh, from my, my hotel if I can. I can see them all over the place. Right, how about here? Is here an okay to, place to fight them? If I get my laser gun... And if they try and jump up here, I can try and shoot them back with my laser gun. Here we go. This is an okay strategy for battling pirates. So, uh, yeah, if your own life, if you do find yourself attacked by pirates, stand on top of a greenhouse and get your laser rifle ready. That's my strategy. Oh, here comes a here comes a parrot. Go away, parrot. Go away. Oh, look, it dropped a dropped a little star that got my magic up. That's pretty handy, seeing uh, as my my laser rifle uses magic. Okay, this seems to be an okay strategy. I think I'm going to use this as my safe place. I think that if I start getting too hurt by the pirates, I can just go up there and that can be my safe place. And oh, oh they got guns. They got guns too though. Okay, luckily I can go back to my safe place. Let's go get my uh, my bow ready and let's try and let's try and shoot down at them. Look at those bullets just flying up. Let's just go pew 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 and try and shoot down if we can. <laughs> uh, the problem is, is because I've been up here for a little while, they've all kind of congregated underneath me. They've all kind of built up underneath there. I I need to go, I think I need to go somewhere and use bombs or something to try and take them out. I don't want to do it here because I'm next to a glass building and firing bombs probably isn't going to be a good idea. Let's just try a, a few warning rounds down there, shall we? And let's go to the, the other side. Oh, I could see some jumping up down there. Let's just go and fire down. Let's just try and shoot down for a bit. The problem is they can all shoot back at me. If they, um... Yeah, if they didn't have guns or like any ranged weapons, then I could kind of just stand up here and shoot down at them. The problem is, anytime I poke my head around, uh, they all just start going after me. So what I think I will do is I'm going to wait for my, my health to go up a little bit. Then I'm just going to go and do a, uh, a mad dash to the, the right. And I'm going to try and get to a place uh, where I can be fighting them one-on-one. -on -one, or just at least, yeah, letting one come at me uh, at a time uh, rather than the uh, the whole group as we got right now. And whoa, look at them going absolutely crazy. Well, let's just go. Let's just run. Let's just run. I think I need to 
to go and uh, try and find the uh, the captain and uh, somehow managed to, to take him out. But he did seem uh, really tough. And oh no, I've gone straight into the uh, the hollow here. This won't make things easier. Right, I can't see any nearby. Right, they're coming up, but there's only a few of them. I might be able to hopefully take out this group here. There we go. I was able to take out that group relatively okay. I mean, they hurt me a lot, uh, but I'm still I'm still walking. Uh, let's go down. Let's go down here into this little tunnel then, and hopefully uh, they're going to kind of follow me one at a time. And oh no, there's a unicorn come down. Unicorns are tough. Right, I do not want to be fighting unicorns and pirates. Oh, how about in here? How about in here? Then if they fall down, I can try and swing my sword at them and try and take them out. I'm at least uh, going to stay in here and uh, until my health's gone up a little bit. And then I might go and uh, head my way back to the, the greenhouse. I don't know if I need to try and uh, take out a certain amount of them. And then they're going to leave me alone or take out all of them. But this is going to be very difficult. If ever I have felt underpowered, this would be that moment. They don't seem to be coming down though. Are they waiting at the top for me? No, we seem to be okay. My health's gone up quite a little bit. So let's go and uh, try and make a run and uh, see if we can get back to the uh, the old greenhouse then, shall we? I need to go and get up this hill. And have they all gone? Ha ha ha, have they all left? The music's got a little bit more peaceful now. And I don't know if, that, if that's just because there are none near or whether they've decided uh, to leave me alone. Okay, let's go. Nope, the pirates are back here. Here's a, a pirate dead eye here hiding inside of uh, RG's little house. Let's go and uh, take this guy out. Uh, so I don't know whether I've defeated most of them, and these are just the uh, the few that are left. There's a a, a, a parrot uh, up here as well. Uh, most of my my friends seem to be okay in the house here. Maybe I've just uh, take uh, took out all the ones on the right, and uh, now I need to go back to the left. Right, it was around here uh, where the uh, the captain was. So I want to be uh, very careful. Right, they seem to be uh, really building back up again. Uh, so let's go and try and make my way back to the greenhouse. Maybe I could just go and use my my laser rifle for a bit. There we go. That was able uh, to do some some pretty good damage there. I got my bow as well. I don't know. They're coming at me from both sides now. Okay, okay. Things are getting dangerous. Let's go for a run. Let's go for a run. Let's try and get out of here if we can. Let's go and keep running. Keep running back to the uh, the greenhouse. So, yep. Yeah, uh, seems like the uh, the pirates have not been defeated, like uh, I thought for a second. <laughs> back to my back to my safe place where only the other uh, parrots can go after me. I do okay, though, when I'm only fighting uh, a few of them at a time. It's just when there's uh, the big groups of them that come after me, things go bad. And, oh, that parrot got a little bit close there. <laughs> I was able to, uh, to take it out, though. Yeah, so this was unexpected. I feel like I haven't said hello to you properly yet. I feel like I was kind of like, hello, welcome to Big Battle with Pirates. I don't I don't feel like I was I had a chance to build up to anything. So, um, hello, uh, how are you today? Are you doing okay? Um, you're probably doing better than me uh, because you're probably not battling uh, pirates right now. So, <laughs> there's uh, that that you can uh, be happy about. And uh, my iron skin potion's almost run out. So, as soon as that's gone, I'm going to go and uh, have this uh, other one. But yeah, once my health's gone back up, I will go back down and see if I can uh, uh, take some more out. I think I'm basically going to have to take a battle with pirates slow and steady. And I don't know if there has ever been a slow and steady battle with pirates before. <laughs> That's not normally a word you associate with pirates, slow and steady, is it? All right, let's go and see if there's a bunch underneath me down here. I can't see anyone shooting at me. If I kind of just dangle my head over a little bit... No, there doesn't seem to be any... Oh, yes! Yes, there are! Yes, there are! There are lots of them uh, underneath me. I don't know if I need to get to my house then to try and uh, get some, some better things, but I'm using my best sword. Actually, I think I'm not wearing my... Um yeah, I wasn't wearing my mithril helmet, so there we go. That's going to put my defense up a little bit. There we go. I'm on 51 defense now, so that's uh, pretty good. Uh, but yeah, what was happening, by the way? So before this happened, uh, I was uh, digging around trying to get some more uh, andermanite. And uh, thank you for helping me pronounce it, by the way. I did read your comments. I've kind of forgot already how to say it. And oh, I got a cutlass. Uh, how much does it do? Uh, 68 damage. Oh, it's not uh, actually quite as good as my um, uh, my beam sword. But it looks cool, though. It looks cool. I might... I might try it out. It might be good uh, for battling pirates. Let's see what it's like anyway. Ooh, it's quite big. It's quite big. Let's try and kill the uh, the the, uh, the parrot. It did pretty well, actually. It did pretty well uh, against the parrot. I might go and jump down for just a second and uh, try and use the uh, the cutlass for a bit and see how well it does. It's doing okay. It's actually doing pretty good. I don't think it's quite as good as the uh, the beam sword, uh, but it wasn't doing too bad. And look, I've just locked them all inside the uh, <laughs> inside the greenhouse now. I don't know if this is a good idea because they're all building up. And oh, and they opened it. And they opened it. All right, let's go and get back up. I quite like this cutlass. Uh, this cutlass is uh, pretty cool, actually. I was able uh, to take out a few of them. I should probably uh, go back to using my beam sword, though, because uh, I do think it's stronger and it does uh, fire at range sometimes as well, so that's good. Anyway, there's a parrot coming back here. Let's try and not let the parrot get close. Uh, there we go. I was able to, to take the, the parrot out. Oh, he's got a, a friend coming along as well. Let's go and take him out. Oh, no. I've run out of, um, I've run out of laser. I've run out of laser. Right, let's try and use the sword. If I just try and knock it 
back. It shouldn't hurt me. There we go. I was able to take it out. Oh, the parrots are coming very fast now. Look at that one charging. I was just sitting there. Hello, parrot. Hello, are you okay? Um, are, are you friendly now? Are you a friendly parrot? Have you decided to, to join my side? <laughs> if I give you a biscuit, okay, if I give you a biscuit, how about instead of fighting me, you can fight on my side and go up against all of the other parrots, yeah? What do you say? What do you say? Are you just going to stand there? Oh, okay, he's got angry again. He's got angry again. Let's go take him out. I don't think <laughs> I can persuade the uh, uh, the parrot to, to join my cause quite yet. Right, let's go and... um. Go and do another little dash down and uh, try and take out all of the uh, the ones that are underneath me. Let's try and jump down here. Go and take out all of these. There we go. And kind of knock them all back. It's okay until they start shooting me. It's all these, uh, the crossbow ones. They're the ones that really get me. If I just stand here and keep swinging and then shut the, uh, the door again, uh, then I can go and trap them all in. The ones that fight me close range, uh, I'm able to deal with them. Uh, it's the ones that kind of shoot me from uh, from quite far away. They're the ones that deal the, uh, the real da damage. Anyway, there's another parrot coming after me here. I was able to, to take out him, okay, and let's go because they always drop magic, so you get your magic straight back up again, or right, let's go back down and try and take out these people, get out the ones close range, there we go, the crossbow ones are actually really weak uh, when you uh, fight them close up, so if you kind of just charge straight into them, uh, you can do uh, okay taking them out, uh, so I guess I'm just going to have to kill uh, a certain amount of them, and then the rest uh, are all going to leave, uh, either that, or I'm just going to have to um uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to wait uh, until I'm able to, to take out the uh, the captain again. But he was really tough. I swung my sword at him a lot, and I pretty much did no damage against him last time, and he really hurt me. So I'm a little bit <laughs> uh, worried about uh, whether I'm going to actually be able to, to take out the captain. So, uh, yeah, I guess for now I'm going to uh, resort to staying up here in my in my safe place <laughs> on top of the, uh, the greenhouse, and uh, just every now and then poke down and to take out as many as I can. I think once I've taken out uh, all of the other uh, ones that are underneath me, uh, once they're all gone... Uh, then like I can kind of just stay in the greenhouse and fight them one on one uh, as they come in for me. It's just when there's a, a big group of them and some are close and some are far back. Uh, yeah, it's very difficult for me to do much. And oh, okay, they're still there. They're definitely still there. I can see them <laughs> uh, shooting up at me. Uh, let's just wait for my my health to, to go up a, a little bit more. It always seems to go up really slow when you're just watching it. If you just stare at the health, it's like, okay, a little bit of a heart. Half a heart, three quarters of a heart, a full heart. Like, it seems to go up really slow when you just stare at it. Uh, but yeah, when you just kind of ignore it, it always just seems just to be going up quicker. All right, let's go and charge back down again. Oh, look, there's no one here. There's no one here. Here's a good chance. Here's a good chance. Let's try and get in close. Let's try and dodge all of their, their bullets if I can and just charge straight through. And oh, no, I fell in the lava. I fell in the lava. Right, why do I have lava in my greenhouse? That's ridiculous. There we go. That was quite good. I was able to uh, to take out a pretty decent group of them now. And oh, did you see that shot? I think I some above me or something, or was that just a big looping shot? And hey, another friendly parrot. <laughs> the good way, I don't actually have to fight the parrots. I can just tame them and just stand at the uh, the top of the uh, the greenhouse with them and just wait around here for a bit. <laughs> uh, let's let's take him out though, because I know any minute he's going to get angry and go after me again. There we go. Uh, they able to to take out the uh, the pirate parrot. And are they dropping anything? Oh, I got out a pirate banner. Oh, actually, I got a um. A magic dagger. It does 43 damage, uh, insanely fast speed, and uses knockback. Uh, this is something that I just found uh, in a chest while mining, or, or it was dropped by someone. I don't know. I just randomly found it, and uh, let's see what it does. Oh, oh, I throw them. Ah, that's actually quite a lot of damage for for something that you throw. And actually, if I kind of stand here, are they all underneath me still? Let me poke up. Yep, they most certainly are. If I stand here and kind of loop these round. If I throw them up, are they going to drop down? Aha, if I do this, look at this. This might actually, look, I'm hurting all the uh, the pirates. I can see the little uh, the little bubbles of them getting hurt. How about this for a, a strategy for fighting pirates? All I need to do is throw them ever so slightly to the, the side. I am, though, uh, running out of uh, magic. But every time a, uh, a parrot comes, I'm able to, to get a, a whole load more uh, magic. I think I need to aim a little bit more to the, the left. Uh, luckily, it doesn't hurt me if it hits me, though. So that's uh, pretty lucky. And here we go. This might be a quite good way to take them out. I might need to step uh, a little bit back up here uh, so I'm able to, to hit them all okay. Uh, but if I keep throwing these up and uh, try and looping them around, uh, this way I can hurt the pirates, uh, but they can't hit me unless they get smart and start going further away like they just did there. They really, though, uh, don't seem to be able to, to get up here. And, oh, look, there's a parrot. There we go. Uh, that's gone and got my, my magic right up again. Okay, so let's stand back down here. Are they still here? Pirates, are you still here? Yep. 
They most definitely are. Right, is this a good angle? There we go. I'm looping them and they're going just past the greenhouse there. And there we go. I'm hitting all of the, the pirates. <laughs> I can't even properly see them on my screen. I just see like the little numbers popping up saying that I'm, uh, that I'm hurting them. How about this for an ingenious way to go and battle pirates? As I said, slow and steady, slow and steady. And are there any still down there? I'm throwing all the daggers and they seem to be going right by the greenhouse. Oh, I hit a, a few there then. Uh, there might be a one or two still left there. I think they're just kind of jumping around all over the place. And good time for another parrot. Can I get my magic up? Oh, no, I wasn't able to, uh, to get my magic up that time. And it is getting dark as well, which does mean uh, that we are going to be getting more normal googlies as well. So let's go and uh, throw a bunch more daggers. I need to be a little bit more to the right, maybe about here. A tiny bit to the left if I can. Try and get this perfect. I want to get it so it's as close to the uh, the greenhouse as it can be. Because I think that's kind of where they're all standing around down there. There we go. This looks quite good. And there we go. I think uh, I'm hitting a, a whole bunch of them. <laughs> this is just its a really fun way to fight, actually. I feel like I'm kind of cheating to it. It's like, look at this. Look at all the other uh, loot that they dropped down there. And oh, that's the captain. That's the captain down there. Right then. Another iron skin potion is definitely needed. And look, if I keep doing this... I should hopefully be able to keep hitting the, the captain. He's pretty tough, uh, so it might take a, a little while, but it seems that there might only uh, be the uh, the captain left now, and that would be uh, pretty handy. Uh, so yeah, let's go and uh, uh, drink all my iron skin potions, and uh, let's see if we can keep trying to uh, to take him out if we can. Oh, there's another par uh, parrot up here, uh, which is good, because that should get my magic up. And oh no, he didn't drop uh, one of the, uh, the little magic things this time, but oh well. Uh, let's go and uh, drop down then. Let's see if we can do a little bit of a uh, normal damage again against the, uh, the captain, shall we? I'm going to put my uh, health up a little bit. And are there any normal pirates? Oh, no, there are more normal pirates. I think I'd be okay uh, against the, uh, the captain uh, if I was going one-on-one. -on -one. So I think I might be able just to... <clears throat> just to, to keep knocking him back and so then he shouldn't really be able to do much damage against me but when uh, everyone else is nearby and they're shooting things at me as well uh, I think that's when it's going to be uh, really tough to, to go and try and fight the uh, the captain that way and I don't seem to be hitting anything are they all still down there yeah I can still see them all jumping around there I kind of want to just try and lure them close to me so I'm going to be able to hit them uh, with all of my flying daggers <laughs> I still like this method for uh, for trying to, to take them out there well let's go for another little a little dive down here then shall we let's go and get my my beam sword out and uh, try and take out a few more of these guys. There we go. There's a few down. And oh, I think I, I got something then. I think I got something uh, quite cool then. And uh, where are the other pirates though? And where is the captain most importantly? Have they all fallen down this hole here? Aha! There seems to be a lot of them falling down that hole there, but I can't really stand here too long uh, because they're all going to be coming from behind me over here as well. And oh, look, there's a, a pirate dead eye. And look, did you see that? He fell in the lava. If I'm able to get the uh, the captain uh, to fall in the, the lava, that would be a good way uh, for him to get hurt anyway, uh, with me not having to do it. But I think most of them are kind of down here now. So if I do the uh, the same thing I was doing earlier, but kind of just throwing all of these, uh, these daggers down here, I just need to get the angle right. I should hopefully start damaging some of the ones that have fallen down there. I need to see uh, whether the... Um uh, whether the, the captain's down here is the thing I want to, to find out. Is he down here? Uh, I can't actually really see. Let's just try and shoot down for a bit. Uh, they're shooting back up at me, but I'm hurting them as well. I wasn't able to see uh, whether the uh, the captain was uh, actually down there or not, though. Any more pirates coming from this direction? Uh, I can't see any. I got a shot from uh, above there, unless that was a, a big looping shot. I don't know if any of them have gone up to my, my safe place at all. I can't see the, the captain down here. I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about the pirates. I didn't even know there were pirates in the game until they came but I'm guessing that I do have to to take out the uh, the captain and uh, maybe that will stop all of uh, the others coming and look do you see that they always keep falling in the lava they always keep running at me and they're always on fire so I think this is actually uh, quite a, a good place to to fight them uh, because they keep falling in the lava. I mean, I did also accidentally fall in the, the lava earlier as well. But luckily, uh, they're just as bad as me and keep falling in <laughs> as well. All right, let's uh, wait to get my health up a little bit more. Then I'm going to go for another little jump down there and uh, see if I can find the captain. I want to keep uh, checking over to my right, though, uh, to make sure no one's sneaking up over there. I might actually go and uh, shut these doors as well so they can't go after me. And uh, yeah, once my health's up uh, a little bit more... I'm going to go for another little jump down and uh, try and take out uh, a few of these if I can. Right, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down. I can't see the captain here. I can't see the captain. And look at that. I was able to destroy all of these pirates. Look at that. <laughs> I am good. I'm feeling better now. I feel like uh, I'm getting better at uh, taking out these pirates. That was uh, a whole load of them taken out there then. And I can't see uh, any more around here. So what I think I need to do now is uh, I need to go on the hunt. Rather than fleeing from the pirates, I need to go on a hunt and uh, see if I can track down this uh, captain and uh, 
take him out. I already uh, did a, a decent amount of uh, damage against him, so I think I just need to, to find him and uh, try and finish him off. I just don't know if he's fallen down any of these uh, caves at all. I'm basically just waiting here for them to, to open the door and then I can go after them. It's just those ones with the guns and the crossbows and things. They're the ones uh, that I don't like. Anyway, let's go down here and take out these guys. I'm going to hop back up to my, my safe place for a little bit <laughs> to try and get my, my health up and get a bit more composed. And uh, then let's go and uh, keep looking for the um the old captain. I should probably uh, head home, maybe go and grab some more iron skin potions and things might be uh, a little bit handy. That might help me out. Uh, I could maybe try and get the... um. I don't know, a better weapon or something? I mean, the, the sword is the best weapon uh, I have, and I don't really have uh, many fallen stars to get more star cannons. But let's go and uh, look up here and uh, see what potions I have. So let's go and get a whole load more of these iron skin potions, uh, because these are really handy. And oh, it's a golden chair, I think one of them dropped. <laughs> I think one of them dropped a, uh, a golden chair for me. So even if I, I'm not able to take them all out, at least I'm getting uh, some nice furniture out of this battle. And oh, I can see some more down there. I can see some more down there. I'll be heading back down there in uh, just one second. So let's go and uh, store away these uh, gold coins as well. Uh, so then that way, if I do get taken out again, uh, then that way I won't be losing all my gold coins. And actually, seeing as they're not really attacking me too much in here, let me see if I could go and make some more armor. I don't know how many of that adamantite uh, I was able to, to make, uh, but I could try and make some more of it uh, into some bars if I can. Uh, there we go. Here are the, the bars here. And uh, let's see how many I end up in my inventory. I think that was 13 I had. And uh, let's see how much I need. I think I do need more than 13, uh, but I might have some. Uh, already saved somewhere. Can we see Andamanite? Uh, I need 18. I need 18, which means uh, I need five more, and then I'll be able to, to make the uh, the Greaves, and then that will put my defense up a lot, and I uh, should make this pirate battling uh, a whole bunch easier. And look, they're all down there. Let's go and take out uh, these ones down here. Uh, these ones are, are pretty easy. Uh, the deck hands aren't too tough. And oh no, don't go after Fantasy. Leave Fantasy alone. That's not a fair fight. She's not fighting back. All right, let's go and look in here. Let me see if I do have any more uh, Andamanite here. Oh, there, there we go. That's exactly what I need. I have another five. 18. That is enough uh, to be able to make my greaves. So I need to go back to the uh, Mithril Landville and I'll be able to make some grills, uh, uh, greaves and then I'll be uh, much tougher going up against them all. So, ooh, what's that? Oh, I can make some, uh, I can get ice skates and things and make some frostbite boots. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. That does not matter for now. I need to be quick here. And oh, what's this? Oh, that, oh that's uh, that's the uh, the headgear. Okay, anyway, once again, getting distracted. I do not need that. I do not need that. The thing that I really need to upgrade is my greave. So can I find some? Uh, here we go. Andamanite leggings. Is that what I want? Or is it? Or is that like greaves? Yeah, I think that is the, just they're called leggings uh, rather than greaves. And uh, they do, uh, how much defense do they do? 10 defense. And uh, my old ones did, uh, they only did, oh, they did nine. So it's actually not that much of an upgrade, uh, but it's still, uh, it's still better. It's still better. And it puts my movement speed up and that as well. So my total defense uh, is now uh, 44, but if I have uh, another iron skin potion, uh, it's up to, to 52 again. Right. I feel a little bit more confident now. Uh, let's go back down. Let's go uh, to the uh, let's go to the left this side. Oh no, don't go near fantasy. You leave fantasy alone, pirates. No attacking fantasy. Right, let's go and uh, head this way for a bit. Uh, I'm still uh, just trying to, to track down where the uh, where the uh, the captain got to. And once I get the captain, uh, I'm not going to let him get out my sights too much this time. I mean, uh, if he hurts me too much, I'm going to have to back off. But yeah, I do not want to to allow him to uh, to get away this time. Do you reckon he's gone down here somewhere? Do you reckon he's gone around here? I can't really see uh, any pirates over here in this direction. So let's go uh, heading back to the uh, the other side then. That seems to be uh, mainly where they're coming from. It did say that they're coming from the west when they first attacked. Uh, but I don't know whether that really means anything. Because they kind of <laughs> attack me from everywhere anyway. Uh, so let's go and uh, take up these deck handles. There's a crossbow. I do not like those ladies. They are brutal. There we go. I was able to, to take her out though. And uh, let's go carrying across then. And let's go and try and track him down. Zombies, I don't have time for you. You are the least of my worries right now. <laughs> I was able to take out that zombie so easily. Easily. It's funny that those, you know, zombies were a real threat when I started playing this game. It's funny how they're just, you know, they're just like nothing anymore. They're like zero threat whatsoever. I am getting pretty hurt here, though. I do need to keep an eye on my health bar. Let's go and uh, have another healing potion and put my health fully up. Sadly, I don't have any of the um, the greater healing potions. I've only got the uh, the normal ones. So they don't actually put uh, my health up all that much. And that one's going to shoot at me. Let's try and back uh, off. It's these the pirate dead eyes are the ones that uh, shoot you with the, uh, the pistols. Uh, let's go try and back off for a little bit though because I am getting hurt. Let's try and just charge straight through my house and let's go and try and get back to my uh, safe place for a little bit and let's also see if on the way I'm able to, to see the pirate uh, captain. I couldn't uh, see him anywhere down there. Any pirates around here? Uh, there's just uh, a few more deck hands coming after me. I'm able to take them out pretty easily. Where is the captain gone? 
Where has the uh, the captain run away to? He's got to be round here somewhere. Uh, they're just uh, some of the the normal ones. Uh, another parrot down there. I can't see where the uh, where the captain's got to. No, no, these ones are shooting at me. Right, this is dangerous. Oh, there he is. There's the captain. Oh no, he's really scary and he's walking right towards me. Okay, I'm not ready uh, to fight him now because uh, my health is uh, really low. But I now know uh, that he's right there underneath me. Let's see uh, if I'm able to uh, to try and get a little bit of a loop round on him and try and get him. Is he still down there? Uh, I couldn't see him then. I couldn't see him then, uh, but lots of his friends are around there. So let's go and do, do my uh, my old tactic of throwing up all of my... Uh, these magic daggers they're called? Is that what they were called? Uh, yeah, magic daggers. Let's go and uh, carry on throwing my magic daggers up here and uh, looping them down and uh, hopefully hurting some of the pirates. Hopefully uh, the uh, the pirate captain's down there somewhere and I'm doing uh, at least uh, a little bit of damage against him. Is he down here? Oh, he's still there. He wasn't being hit by those daggers, but he's uh, on his way. So let's go and uh, carry on throwing them and uh, hopefully I can do uh, a little bit of uh, damage against him. I should have picked up some bombs or something, didn't I? That's what I was going to do. I should have picked up some bombs or grenades or uh, something like that from the uh, from the old house. And oh, I think that was the captain. I think that was the captain shooting at me. And look, someone just fired a cannonball or something at me then. Right, there's a whole load of these guys here. Let's go and try and take these ones out if I can. I'm going to go and shut the door uh, so the ones uh, far away won't be able to hit me that much. And then I can just sort of keep opening and closing the door if I need to. I can't see the uh, the captain there though. There's a few deck hands here I can go and try and take out. Oh, there he is. He's inside, but I only have half a heart. Right, let's go up. Let's get out of here for a bit. <laughs> back to my back to my safe area. I think I'm slowly but surely uh, taking away his health here and there. It'll be fine if he wasn't uh, surrounded by all of his crew. I'm fighting alone here. Like, how many pirates have I took out? And I'm here all by myself. It's not fair. It's just not fair, you know? Where where are my reinforcements to charge in? Oh, I did get a um a, a parrot banner, though. I'm getting lots of cool things. So even if I'm not able to defeat all the pirates, I am getting uh, lots of uh, pretty cool things uh, from them. Uh, so I can go and have uh, another healing potion now. And uh, that's going to bring my health uh, uh, way up. Uh, but then there's a, a minute wait until I'm allowed uh, to use uh, another healing potion, which is the uh, the only downside. But uh, yeah, I've got uh, over half health now. I've probably got enough health to at least drop down. Oh, there's the captain. There's the captain. There's the captain. The pirates have been defeated. The pirates have been defeated. I defeated the pirates. Yay! Did I take out the captain then? He looked uh, to still be alive, but maybe I was able to, to get him. Oh, no, no. The captain is still there. But apparently the pirates have been defeated. Maybe uh, I've just killed uh, enough of them uh, for it to count uh, as them being defeated. So I guess uh, that there's probably going to be no more spawning in. But the captain does still seem to be there. So even though I've technically defeated them, I still want to go and uh, try and take out the uh, the captain uh, if I can. And oh, nope, he's still right there and he's still tough. I wasn't able to see then uh, how much health he's got. I know he's got to be uh, have a relatively weak health, uh, but I wasn't really able to see then uh, just uh, how much uh, he, was, uh, he had. So I can have uh, a another healing potion now though and uh, that should uh, help put my health up and there we go to shoot him with a laser I've done uh, a decent amount of damage to him uh, but not loads and oh that hurt though he just hit me uh, with a, uh, a big cannonball and that was <laughs> pretty painful but now now that the, the pirates have technically been defeated, uh, I think that means uh, that no more uh, are going to be spawning in, which means I can get what, what I uh, wanted the uh, the whole time, and that is basically uh, a one-on-one -on -one fight uh, against the uh, the pirate captain. And oh, ow, 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 ow. I was thought he was going to be on the, the other side there. I keep uh, trying to, to switch really fast, and ow, no, he sees me immediately. Let's go and uh, shut the other door then. Look at that. Look at the, uh, the big cannonballs he's using. <laughs> right, I think that my health's not high enough to fight him yet, but what I can do, is kind of keep just switching side and side. And oh look, Captain Morgan had the pirate has arrived. Is that a good pirate? Do you reckon I've got a, a friendly pirate join my side? Maybe. Oh, do you reckon I can get him to fall in the lava? Oh, please fall in the lava. Please fall in the lava. Oh, I've only got half a heart. I've only got half a heart. All right, let's back off again. And then there we go. I can have a, another healing potion, though. So that's going to put uh, my health up. Only a tiny bit. I need to get uh, those better healing potions, I think. Because, yeah, those uh, rubbish ones aren't doing that much. It's kind of fun, though. Just kind of making him run, like, side to side. And then just going to the other side. Shoot him for a bit. Then when he shoots back, I can duck down. I should really want to get him uh, to fall into that lava. I've got him down to like half health now and if I shoot really fast uh, he doesn't actually uh, have time to respond to me so if I go straight down uh, to this side now and shoot like this then as soon as he starts shooting back I can go and try and jump up like this then duck down jump up 
Duck down, jump up, jump up. Oh, I ran out of um, I ran out of uh, magic there, so I wasn't able to shoot him. Let's go and uh, switch to the uh, the bow for a bit, shall we? Let's make sure I'm using my flame arrows because uh, they should do a, a little bit more damage. And I can kind of keep jumping up. And oh, there we go. That set him on fire now, so that's going to be continually hurting. It wasn't hurting him uh, that much, uh, but it was just doing some continuous damage. So that might be a good way to to take him out. I don't think I've ever been so determined to do something inside of Terraria, apart from maybe defeating the uh, the Wall of Flesh. I don't think there's a one thing that I've wanted to do <laughs> more than taking out this horrible pirate and I've actually uh, run out of all of my uh, healing potions now but there we go I'm getting some good shots up now is he even there has he run away oh he's gone oh he's gone the captain's gone did I defeat him I either took him out or he just got bored and left me one of the two one of the two but it does mean that we now have a um uh, a new friend has arrived. Can I can I see them on the map? Um, apparently there's a, a new pirate uh, which should be uh, moving into my hotel very soon. Uh, are any of these new? Uh, I can't see any uh, new faces there. Oh, actually no, there are. I can. I can. I do think uh, we have a uh, a new pirate friend uh, that has moved in. Look upstairs. We now have a pirate staying at my treetop hotel. Hello, uh, Morgan. Hello, Captain Morgan. <laughs> Stay off me booty, you scallywag. Uh, what does he sell then? Oh, I could buy a cannon. Uh, it's quite expensive though. Uh, cannonballs, of course. Uh, a pirate hat, a pirate shirt, and pirate pants. Oh, I could be a, my very own pirate. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, thanks uh, for watching this uh, episode. I know it was uh, much longer than my normal Terraria episodes were, but I was not uh, about to end it in the middle of a, a pirate battle. And it was hard, it was difficult, very challenging, but I was able to defeat all of the pirates all by myself. And I got a whole bunch of things. I got golden doors and chairs, pirate banners and uh, parrots and things. And so I'm going to use some of these uh, new items I got. Uh, to decorate a room for Captain Morgan. Uh, so yeah, that he can have his uh, very own uh, Captain Crew quarters <laughs> inside of my treetop hotel. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!